Okay, welcome to the supersonic office, the cockpit of the Bloodhound land speed record car. Um, most people observe that this cockpit is relatively small, cramped. Actually, it's been built around me and specifically it's been designed by me to put everything exactly where I need it so that I don't have to reach out specifically uh, far for anything. Everything falls to hand and everything's in logical position. So starting from the back left corner, we've got all the circuit breakers that control all of the uh, and protect anything from an overload anywhere in the electrical system. Um, they actually get switched on at the start of the run and then remain in for the duration. Forward of that, two parachute levers. Once only during the run, I'll reach down with my left hand, pull that back. We will have an electrical deployment for next year, but we're doing it manually for this year while we test the system. In very simple terms then, the rest of the cockpit um, breaks down into uh, two halves. The right hand side is always going fast, the left hand side is all associated with slowing down. So in addition to the parachutes, we've also got all of the air brakes, uh, aerodynamics, etc. It's control systems and deceleration. And the left hand screen above that shows hydraulic pressures, brake temperatures, pressures, etc. Um, and also the uh, electrical systems and the warnings associated with those. So all of the left hand side slowing down. And of course the left foot, is my left foot works the uh, brake pedal on the left hand side, also a slowing down aid. Buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel for the air brakes and parachutes. Right hand side of the cockpit, jumping over to the other side, is all about going fast. Um, so that is very much the engine uh, control instruments, the uh, GPS clocks power, etc and controlling the engine so the big what looks like a big throttle lever on the right hand side is actually the manual fuel shut off should we need to stop cock the engine for any reason um, if we lose electronic communications with the engine one way to shut it down is actually simply to shut the fuel off um, so as, in a, as a fallback emergency that's uh, part of that three uh, uh, fire extinguisher systems and the fire detection system all on the right hand side fire extinguishers in the forward bay where the computers are in the cockpit and in the engine bay, the three most likely places where a fire could start or indeed could have an effect, um, either electrically or fuel driven. Radio on the right hand side as well, obviously communication with the rest of the team and indeed with, the, uh, with Jess in uh, run control, uh, absolutely critical. So that is a key part of this. And then most of, my most of my focus, once I've finished setting up all the switches, got all the systems running, checked each thing has come up uh, and we've brought on the jet, the electrics, the hydraulics, etc. Once everything's running, focus then very much on the screen. The centre screen is the performance screen, so the big speedo with all of the distances. So it's distance, speed and time and the uh, engine power in the centre. Right hand side is the power systems, jet engine, etc and left, as I've already mentioned, is all the slowing down systems. So it's very much a start on the right-hand side of the cockpit, start the engine up, look at the engine instruments, focus on the centre screen while we're running, left-hand screen as we're slowing down for things like uh, the brake temperatures and monitoring the left-hand the left -hand side if I need to for any of the systems. Sounds very simple, it's a very logical, simple flow. Pilots are very, very simple creatures, and I'm bringing that culture into the cockpit to make what looks like a massive complex array of screens and switches very, very simple in my mind.